Hi, welcome to another PhotoLink video. Uh, this one's going to be on dynamic range and um, the uh, curves tool. Uh, this is a photograph that was sent to me by um, a friend in Ireland named Mark. Um, and I really like this photograph. There are only a couple things wrong with it. Number one, I didn't take it. Number two, I wasn't there. I mean, this is just a striking photograph. If you'll take a look at this beautiful triangular composition that um, is present in this photograph. You know, often if you take the subject matter and you organize it in a geometric shape or if it appears in a geometric shape, um, it makes the photograph so much more interesting. But uh, this nice triangular composition everything else. But I was kidding about, you know, those things being wrong with it. Uh, the only thing that I see in this photograph that I would probably adjust is if you take this area right here, there's a lot of detail lost in the shadows. If uh, we take a look at the histogram, uh, go into colors, and we can go into levels. If you notice, this histogram is really bunched up towards the shadow side. But we can partially correct this and make this a much more, in my opinion, a desirable photograph by doing the following. Number one, if you look at um, the uh, curves tool, we are presented with this the entire histogram. But if we go into our uh, fuzzy select tool, oops, excuse me, our fuzzy select tool, which is this one, uh, make sure we're in the primary select mode, and um, make sure that the edges are feathered. I'm using here 23.1, which is probably a good rate. Um, we can come over here and select these areas. Now, if we go into additive mode, we can add the additional areas that we want to correct to it. Okay. So we won't be super accurate here, but we'll try and be kind of accurate. Uh, maybe get this little critter here. Uh, we'll get another one here. Well, we're not going to be too, we're not going to waste all of our time trying to make this the best possible right off the bat. But what we will do is uh, try and make it as good as possible. Okay, so there is our shadow area. And uh, now if you'll notice that if we go back into the uh, Curves tool, that we are no longer presented with the entire histogram, but we're presented just with a histogram of this area. So if I, if I take this uh, and adjust the line up slightly, if you'll notice, that shadow detail pops right in. Now, if we take a look at our redefined histogram under Curves, you'll notice we have indeed expanded the dynamic range. So now if we come up here and do a Select All, if you'll notice, um, we have the original picture. We haven't really modified any of this X or this original excellent contrast and uh, detail in the highlights and the mid-ranges. But we have what we have done is we've added in this shadow detail, which I believe makes this for a nicer photograph. Again, let's do this again to make sure that um, uh, we've got it down pat. So I'm going to revert to the original photograph. I'm going to come up here to my fuzzy select tool because what I want to do is I want to select the region that I want to correct and not the entire photograph. So I'm going to select this region. Oops. Go back in here to the additive mode after our first select. 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 Select, select, okay, we're going to do a control Z to undo that, because uh, so we're getting this, well, we'll just let that go for right now, but if you'll notice, we have selected the majority of this, um, we can turn this down a little bit, our threshold, 
and select this now. Maybe we'll, we'll take it. And it did. Uh, we have selected the shadow area. Now what I'd like to do is come into my into my curves tool and increase the brightness in this area by scaling up. Not so much that uh, introduce it introduces artifacts, but just enough to bring interest into that area instead of it falling totally in shadow. And if we do a uh, select all. If you'll notice, we took that area that was totally in shadow and we brought some detail back into it, which I think makes an excellent photograph a little bit better. But again, I applaud Mark on this uh, photograph and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. And um, by the way, um, I get a lot of photographs submitted to me, but if you have a special uh, request on a photograph that you'd like to work on, uh, together in a video, uh, please send it to me at uh, joeg at, that's J-O-E-G at F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com and uh, tell me where you're from, a little bit about yourself and uh, we can work on the photograph together. But thank you for watching and please visit www.foto.linq dot com for uh, more videos and, um, 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 you know, uh, things relating to photography and GIMP. Thank you for watching and have a happy new year.